In this video, you want to find the oblique asymptote of the function square root of x squared plus 7x. So we know that f has an oblique asymptote in the form of y equals ax plus b. So our goal is to solve for a and b. Okay, so this part is given to us. Now, we know that a is going to equal the limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x over x. And the reason is because f has an oblique asymptote in the form of y equals ax plus b. That means that the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is equal to ax plus b. And so when I divide this by x, I have ax plus b over x, which is just a plus b over x. And as x approaches infinity, b over x goes to zero and you're just left with a. Okay. And now to solve for b, well, if the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is ax plus b, all you have to do is subtract ax to get b. Okay, so that's why I subtract ax here. So let's first solve for a. We have the limit as x approaches positive infinity of our function all over x. Now at the top we can factor out an x squared and we have x squared times the quantity 1 plus 7 over x. This The x squared comes outside the square root as just x and it's positive x because x here is a positive number. So the square root of a positive number squared is just a positive number. And so now the x's are going to cancel and I'm left with the square root of 1 plus 7 over x. As x approaches zero or infinity, 7 over x goes to 0. And so we have the square root of 1, which is just 1. So a is going to equal 1 here. And now for b, we have to subtract by ax. So a, we said it was 1. So just replace a with 1 here. And now to solve this limit, we have to multiply by the conjugate. So multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate. So here we have a difference of two squares. So you have basically a minus b times a plus b. And that gives us a squared, plus, a squared minus b squared. a is the square root of x squared plus 7x. So when you square that, the square root goes away. Then minus and then x squared. The x squares are going to cancel. And I'm just going to have 7x at the top. And now in the bottom here, I can factor out an x squared, kind of like what I did in the previous slide. So it was like x squared and then 1 plus 7 over x. The x squared comes out as x. And then I can factor out an x from both terms here. So that becomes x times the quantity, the square root, and then plus 1. The x's are going to cancel. So I have 7 over the square root plus 1. As x approaches infinity, this goes to 0. So we have 7 over the square root of 1 plus 1, which is just 7 halves. So b is 7 halves, a is 1. That is our final answer.